dedicated church members form a human assembly line on this early Sunday afternoon. In this clockwork operation, a massive collection of canned goods is carried out, methodically scaled, then loaded onto a truck. On the other side of town, vans are loaded with youth groups from another church, also on a time-sensitive mission. Participating teams are given a set of instructions with an assigned neighborhood for a two-hour scavenger hunt. We are collecting food for the Kokomo Rescue Mission, uh, going around the neighborhood here just asking people to donate non-perishable canned food to help those that are in need this season. The fact that this is actually taking place on September 11th I think is a good way to remind Americans that we are here to help each other and that when we work as a community, live as a community, and support each other as a community, that we are building uh, each other up and helping each other cope in difficult times, whether that's national tragedies or even family tragedies in this tough economic times. Giving is a gift and to help give back to the community the best way that they can. Here's the area that we are doing here, collecting the cans with the kids, and hopefully we'll collect a lot of them. People are very generous. Time was winding down. Other teams all over town were hard at work. Three forty p.m. The magnitude of the Kokomo Rescue Mission's Yes We Can event, about seventeen years running, became enormous. Churches from all over the region with their respective teams arrived to sort their gatherings by each specific food item. We have people that are keeping track of those and totaling them, and so they will tell us which categories uh, different teams want in, and then of course we'll have the overall scavenger hunt team winner by pound. A sad coincidence with this event was the 10th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. We've chosen to go ahead and have this event so that we can serve others in memory of them. And I think serving is one of the great ways to remember different people for different things. And this is an event that our, I think our country needs to pause. But we also need to say we are one country and we want to help and be there for one another. And this is, a, I think, a great way to do that today is to provide food for those people who are experiencing food insecurity. Of the 6.4 million people living in Indiana, 1 million people do not have enough food. Howard County, with over 80,000 people, suffers the third highest rate in the state of households which lack either money or resources for food. 
I have a fun part because as they weigh the food, then they bring in the tally sheets and I get to add up those totals and then we put them in the computer. And we're the first ones to know how much food there is. So this is, this is the spot to be. And then as it gets close to the end of the event, we just keep sending slips out to let the kids know just how close they are to goal. So we're just tallying up the pre-collect and we have 7,735 pounds. That's a third of our goal. So we're excited about that. I have volunteered for the rescue mission for about three and a half years and and uh, really and, and have fallen in love with the ministry and all the events that they do to help the, the homeless and unfortunate in, in all six counties that we serve. It's a real blessing to serve for these people and work with these people that have such a heart for the Lord and for the, the people in this area. Just very thankful to be able to do it and what a great job we have today to see the numbers as they come in and we're excited about the numbers we already have and, and uh, just looking forward to those kids showing up and nothing like a bunch of kids being happy and, and uh, praising the Lord today. We were talking about the kids and, and what spirit they have and, and we're very thankful that they would give up a Sunday, especially a Sunday on 9-11 and a Sunday, the first NFL Sunday uh, of the year and the Colts are playing, the computers are going, friends are there, but yet they, they choose to serve the Lord and serve uh, serve all of our clients and, and it's uh, it just warms my heart to, to see all those kids in that gym in a little bit listening to music and eating pizza. We're just very thankful for all those kids. bloody wells from the middle of my legs to the middle of my back. I go to school and I wouldn't be able to sit down. I'd toss and turn from side to side. My refrigerator was locked. I was not allowed to get in there and get no goodies out. And I eventually turned my father in for the abuse and I took to the streets at age 12. And at the age of 12, I had to get into dumpsters to feed myself. I lived under a bridge, my van said, in Kokomo. I ended up going to the Kokomo Rescue Mission, and I got some food. I bet some of that's come from some of you, depending on how long you've been doing this. And eventually, got my life straight, and now I'm in school, and I'm doing really good, and I work with the Kokomo Rescue Mission. I want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart because you're changing lives. The results of collections were tallied. At 4.34 p.m., the numbers were finally in. Then the winners were called. The event was over, but it was the beginning of a greater impact.
the needs of countless people will be met. But there's nothing like a hot meal that's been given from a warm heart. <laughs>